Hi Cancer, welcome to this impromptu uh, energy check-in for love. Let's go ahead and start. Um, Archangel Michael. Highest frequency for Cancer, please. We have Saturn with the truth. I don't think I had this with Aquarius. We have success and growth with eighth as well. That is, um, it looks like there's going to be success in your eighth house when it comes to, I don't know what you're focusing on. I'm gonna go clarify that in a little bit. Change of Michael, Cancer please. A mountain, obstacles, challenges, possible delays, patience required, rebuilding, trial and error. Okay, I'll take those. Okay, so it looks like there's a part of your life that you're building that once upon a time felt like it was um, very blocked. I'm getting like a brick wall in my head. Um, and it looks like you're finding a way to make your own little doorway, uh, maybe uh, your own little escape hatch, finding, because I'm getting like a very stubborn energy where you don't want to give up and be it um, like a mountain, you're going to find your dynamite to basically find your way through this mountain. If you have to hike, climb this mountain, or if you have to go dynamite this thing and dig your own hole it's kind of like that um this is something that you've worked uh probably eight years eight months eight weeks and this is a lot of tri trial and error and i'm seeing here i know this is a love reading but since saturn is is here um saturn when they it really makes you hard saturn is very restrictive but at the same time it's uh once you've done the work once you've done the job and you've succeeded in it Saturn gives you a gift that lasts for a lifetime it's not like Jupiterian um, gift or um, Venus when they give you it could last fleetingly um, it does not last more than two years but when this gift comes towards you it's going to be for life it's because of all the stuff you've been through and not really giving up on this dream on whatever endeavor this is for you cancer and it looks like you're going to be rewarded with this it could be in love but I'm getting it's 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 money wise or career wise for you um, yeah I just had to put that out there okay so let's go ahead and carry on give me love energy please FYI my shuffling is really terrible We have gift, expect a gift, a romantic date, night invitation, and this is from someone that you've probably separated from, and it's a soulmate energy due to arguments. Okay, but this person's coming through with a date. This is someone you guys have probably done a lot of trial and error, and it looks like it could have been six times, eight times. You guys have probably tried this and to no avail, and it looks like this person wants to try again. Possibilities. I'm getting, I'm getting a very happy energy for some reason. Very optimistic. Okay. This could have been someone that ghosted or you ghosted this person. Commitment issues due to rejection and wounds. Okay, I'm getting someone in the very beginning. This person was all in. This person was, you wanna go do this, let's do it. And then I think you guys had an argument and it took that one argument one time, you're probably did not respond to them for one night or you ghosted them maybe for a day or two whatever breakup this is maybe a whole weekend it shifted the whole energy even if you guys got back together after that things were not the same um you triggered this person's wounds rejection wounds and but this person loves you though 
this is what you don't understand is this person loves you very much and it's kind of like it slowly grows on you that kind of thing um is this what saturn is gifting you we have awakening what else please michael This was a lost love and i'm getting you guys probably talked about the possibilities of having kids um having a family even moving in together so you guys surrendered looks like i'm getting a heavy return um you guys probably ended stuff six months ago or eight months ago or that was the climax and you guys have been doing the heavy work of healing and really um, fixing what was triggering you both. They induce magic in your life. Yeah, in the past, you guys, so one of you was unawakened or both of you guys were and you guys triggered each other's awakening. But with the kind of energy I'm getting, it's a very, it's a very um, happy energy. So I'm getting this could be a reunion. We have four with Gaia, Mother Earth. So one of you guys, this person wants to ground it. They're ready. Firefly. Illumination, chemistry, magical, self-discovery, soul spark. Could be dealing with an air sign. Bellows, catalyst, ignite. So this person was a catalyst for your awakening. Oh my god, the snakes freak, freaks me out. So you guys triggered jealousy, silent treatment. That was the ghosting energy. Oh boy. I'm gonna cover this snake, I'm sorry. Somebody could be born 71 or 17. 17 is Aquarius, the star. And it looks like this person's aiming at you. You ready to be your forever companion? Okay, let me get tarot cards, please. I don't know why I'm so happy here. I was really depleted after which I don't know which I don't know if I don't know which one I did prior to this actually. It's midnight. <laughs> Okay, we have Eight of Wands. There's going to be a little nudity in this, but it's it's gonna be covered in colors. I don't know if that's gonna be offensive. I haven't been telling people that anyway. So it looks like this person is willing to let their guard down and start working with you now. Um, I don't know why, but I'm just so happy. Okay, so they're gonna come out with this page of pentacles energy testing the waters um they're gonna start um building from the ground up but this one wants to try and try again they won't ever give up they probably give you a little bit of time to heal and it looks like you guys have done so and it's ready to be renewed now I don't know how you feel about this person, but I'm just getting this person's very optimistic energy. Do you see this? It's like, I'm, I'm hearing, I just want to love you. And even this five of cups, this not seem depressed at all. It's like, it's, they're very confident and all they see is this love. Probably I'm getting someone that probably like to party and it looks like they're leaving the three of cups behind To come to you. I usually don't get that with five of cups, but I am getting it now I'm getting arguments as well in the past Also, there's I don't know if it's you or them there was an ex heavy in someone's energy that was still in love with you or with your person and it looks like this ex was gonna do anything and everything to break you guys apart 
and I don't know if you know that, but it was hidden from you with Seven of Swords here. And this person could have even turned suicidal. Holy shit, what? That turned dark quick. They didn't tell you about this. That's why it took them forever. Because they have to help this person mentally. Someone was very clingy. I'm getting suicidal. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I'm getting that word. What in the hell? Yeah, this is what was stopping in the past. Could be a water sign. We have Ace of Swords in the bottom. Could be a water sign or someone that was just really obsessed with them. I'm getting obsessed. Scorpio. Could be a Scorpio. Okay, so... Yeah, this, this, this Queen of Cups is not in their energy anymore. you want to add on for this cancer nine of michael your worry is unnecessary focus your thoughts on the outcome on the outcome you desire release feelings of regret guilt and worry to your angels we have three of ariel what you love do what you love a time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors working with others in a cooper cooperative manner we have nine of Ariel. Your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. A love for the beautiful things in life. So you have nine, three, nine. That could be significant. Okay, let me get... What else for this relationship? Then I'll do hidden messages. If this person has not come through, they're about to. Okay, temptation devil this is what needs to be told this queen of cups this devil energy that they had um i'm surprised that the devil energy just came out right now it was basically bonding them in a way where they were suicidal so every time they probably had to go come see you this person throws a hissy fit yeah this person was obsessed this is what needs to be told Six of Swords. Yep, they could not move. Yep, they could not move. That was, yeah. We have King of Wands underneath. The more they were, uh, the more the snake was wrapped around their ankle or their life because of, oh my god, this person, I'm, ge I'm getting like mentally unbalanced this like this this i don't know I, i'm not sure if it's scorpio energy but i'm getting like it's a the scorpionic energy but yeah this is this truth will come out and they're gonna tell you about this because this person wants to have a renewal and i don't think you would renew anything unless you know the whole truth and nothing but the truth so they're coming through with that can you give me any messages, please, Michael? I still feel the pain. I'm waiting patiently. I want to make amends. I can't be myself with you. I'm in a committed relationship. So this is what they have to tell you. I'm getting this I'm in a committed relationship is that queen of cups that they could not set boundaries with i think they owe this queen of queen of cups something i don't know if it's money or just something that 
okay so your person i'm getting that they needed help back in the day and this person came through for them i don't know in what capacity and they felt bound obligated to this queen of cups so i'm getting debt i don't know what kind of debt it could be money related so they had to kind of burn this thing with them first make sure that this person was not suicidal before they come to you and i think when you try to ask this person about what's happening they would try to cover their tracks goof off um getting like a very playful trying to reflect stuff so you don't focus on what they're doing different pages okay let me get initials this person will come through. I don't know how you're going to take it, but this person will try and try and try again. Um, and make sure you have your boundaries as well. If they overstep it, have that sword ready. Not literally, figuratively, spiritually. Someone will be back. Someone could be a baker. I'm here in Baker Street. Samuel, Abigail, Karen. Lindsay. Jennifer, Drew, Justin, Ethan. Okay, so this is all I have for you, Cancer. I uh, wish you guys lots of love, happiness, and healing. If you have not liked, subscribe, go ahead and do so. Um, have a great weekend. Bye.